Dear colleagues, welcome to the video presentation of our scientific paper titled Frixi Domain Triangulation for Full Field 3D Operating Deflection Shape Identification, published in Mechanical Systems and Signal Processing. As I'm sure you're aware, image-based vibration measurements have become quite popular in the recent years, the main reasons being their non-contacting nature and high spatial resolution of the acquired data. Image-based vibration measurements are often performed as a three-step process, starting with image acquisition using a high-speed camera. In the next step, the acquired images are processed to identify displacements of a vibrating object, and the resulting displacement spectra are used to reconstruct operating deflection shapes of the specimen in the final step. Using a single high-speed camera, only planar vibrations of the observed object can be identified. Our objective, however, are spatial vibration measurements for which stereo or multi-view imaging systems are typically required. Digital image correlation is perhaps the method most commonly associated with image-based vibration measurements. It uses an iterative optimization process to determine the geometrical transformation that best aligns the image of a displaced object with an initial image of the geometry. You can recognize the digital image correlation method by the high contrast pattern that is applied to the object surface to facilitate the optimization process. Once the planar displacements of the measured object have been identified in multiple views, for example, using digital image correlation, 3D motion can be reconstructed in the triangulation process. Each camera view in a multi-view imaging system is described mathematically by a projective camera trans transform model relating the position of a point in an image to its location in 3D space by a matrix multiplication operation. The camera projection matrices can be determined in the calibration process and include both the camera's intrinsic optical parameters and the extrinsic matrix describing the camera's position and orientation in space. As we can see, knowing the position of a physical point in a view gives us two independent equations along with an unknown projective scaling factor. Knowing the position of the same physical point X in at least two calibrated image views, we can determine its 3D position by solving the resulting system of four equations linear in the three unknown coordinates. Knowing the position of the same physical point in additional views only adds equations to this already overdetermined system. In our proposed method, we use a single moving high-speed camera to capture the observed stationary vibration from various points of view. Using the discrete Fourier transform, the measured image displacements are transformed into the frequency domain. This way, multiple frequency domain images of the observed displacements are constructed. You may recognize this camera transformation equation from the previous slide. We were able in our research to show that for small harmonic displacements, we can apply the perspective camera model also in the frequency domain. Utilizing the properties of linearity and time invariance of a vibrating response under stationary excitation, the images acquired at different, different points in time are used to reconstruct the spatial uh, operating deflection shapes of the object at any given frequency in a single frequency domain multi-view triangulation step. In our validation experiment, the specimen was a triple uh, planar cubic shell excited with a stationary random uh, broadband profile on an electrodynamic shaker. The observed object was rotated to capture six different views of the process. Six separate one second videos of the stationary vibration were acquired at 20,000 frames per second using a photon high speed camera. Using the described method, displacements of approximately 2,700 points in each image were identified using digital image correlation. Transforming the measured image displacement into frequency domain using the fast Fourier, Fourier transform, frequency domain images of the vibration were composed. Using multi-view triangulation on the six acquired views at selected frequencies, uh, three-dimensional operating deflection shapes of the structure were, uh, were reconstructed. We can see some examples of uh, particularly interesting measured shapes in these two slides. And an example of four operating deflection shapes reconstructed at frequencies of magnitude peaks in acquired high-speed camera footage. To conclude, 
uh, image-based method of 3D operating deflection shape measurement using a single moving high-speed camera is presented. Compared to existing image-based 3D vibration measurement methods, only a single uh, high-speed camera with no additional equipment is required. Uh, moving the camera to arbitrary locations, the measurement field of view can be extended for object with complex ge geometry, and the method produces full-field 3D operating deflection shapes. We do this by utilizing the properties of linear time invariant structures under stationary excitation and performing multi-view triangulation in the frequency domain. Thank you for your attention.